Half Life is one of those games, which I do, that really did help shape the first person shooter genre into what it is today. Its unique attempt at storytelling makes it one of the most critically acclaimed games to date. The game never leaves our protagonist, Gordon Freeman's perspective, and there are no cutscenes to speak of. Another thing unique about Half-Life is that our main character, Gordon Freeman, is not some sort of space marine or soldier. He instead is a theoretical physicist, almost a nerd if you will. Our story that is our story is that Gordon Freeman was taking part in an experiment which accidentally created a portal to an alien world, which in turn brought all of the inhabitants of that alien world to Earth and they started murdering people. After this, Gordon has to try and find his way out, acquiring his first weapon, the crowbar, along the way. Now, the main plot is Gordon trying to escape from Black Mesa. However, he is constantly on the watch from a blue suited man having a briefcase. Now, it's never revealed who this man is or why he's watching Gordon. And it's some sort of background plot, which I think is good storytelling. The game also has some really good scripted events, such as this Vortigon breaking open this door, which really wasn't in games before all this. Now Half-Life would reward you for keeping scientists alive, as they would be able to follow you and get you into some areas that you wouldn't be able to without them. These rooms should often give you weapons and ammunition for already picked up weapons. And it's stuff like this that really made Half-Life great, I mean sure today you've seen a million times, but back then, this was very intuitive and new. However, the game does feature some very prominent problems. For example, on the PlayStation 2 version, you have to manually save the game whenever you want to save. I mean, would, would auto-saving really have been that hard to include? Another thing are these traps of sorts that would really, would really trick first-hand players. But I guess I'm just nitpicking here, because the game overall is quite an enjoyable experience. Time for the final verdict. Would I recommend buying this game? And I've got to say, it depends, because really, since this game, modern games have really copied a lot of stuff, so there probably won't really be that much to um, surprise you in this. But um, if you really want to give it a go, then uh, yeah, I would suggest picking it up as it is one of my favourite games to date. Thanks for watching, see you in the next part.